Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Last time I was at Isabella's, I made a clay bonsai pot and she gave me some clay to take home with me to fool around with and maybe make something. So today I'm going to turn the greenhouse here into a pottery studio and try making some items out of clay. I'm going to start by wiping down my work surface here so it's nice and clean and dust free so I can roll out the clay. You don't want all the dust and dirt getting into your clay. It'll, I don't know, could affect the firing maybe. That's looking much better. I'll get the clay out and I'll work it into a nice consistent ball of clay and then I'll start the sculpting. There it is. Wow. So this is a gray clay and after it's fired it turns this really nice kind of light tan color. Yeah, it's really, really quite a nice color. So you can see there's all kinds of air pockets in here that I've got to squeeze and make the clay homogeneous. So there's no cracks or voids or anything. And then I can, I'm going to make the pot uh, subtracting it. So I'm going to start with a big blob and then I'm going to cut it away until I get a pot. At least that's, I think, how I'll do it. I don't know. Maybe I'll join the feed on. I don't know. And I don't really have a pot design in mind. I trimmed all my fingernails. Uh, I, last time I was making a pot, if you have even a slight bit of fingernail, you always get these fingernail marks in, the, in your clay when you're smoothing it out. So I trimmed them all back. You can see, you know, if you stretch it, Sometimes you get some voids opening up, so you got to make sure it's all closed up properly. Now, I got to start thinking about what kind of pot I want to make. Um, you know, do I want to roll this out like a slab? Yeah, you can see all the cracks in it there. Do I want to kind of pinch it to shape and then refine it, or, you know, I could build like a a pot. Maybe that's what I want to do. Now I think I'm going to need, I don't think I'll pinch this. I think I'll start carving it with some cutting tools and that. That'll work out okay. And I can, yeah. I want to make something fancy if I can. Fancy kind of pot. I notice there's one area of the clay here that's a little drier than the other parts. It's kind of a little more leathery. Just put a little bit of water in that area. That might soak in and kind of make it a little, a little more consistent. So you can see I'm starting to get a pot shape. Um, I don't want it square like this. I want it rectangular. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking this will be the length. Maybe make it a little longer here. Like that. My width, I'm going to have to take some material off here. And a bit off here. Like that. Get that into a ball. I don't want it too narrow a rectangle, but I don't want it, you know, too square either. It's got to look just kind of right. I'm sure there's a magic proportion there somewhere that looks just right. I have this pot, which is a nice proportion, so I can use that as my inspiration for the proportions. Because that looks, that looks really nice, that one. So I'm getting pretty close to that shape. Yeah, that's that's looking pretty good. All right, let me, uh, I'm gonna just thin down the sidewalls here. That. Turn it 
turn it around. Thin down my sidewall here. And then I'm going to try and smooth it out, taking some of the excess off. That's better. You can see I'm a little thin in this corner, so I'm going to build that up. That's looking better. At least the bottom. Just just a little saggy at the moment. So I'm just working on getting the, the bottom of the pot flat and an even thickness. Much easier if you roll it out in slabs, but yeah, we'll try this method. I'm just kind of roughing out the shape now, you know, the wall thickness and still very crude at the moment. So I think the secret will be to slowly refine the shape as the clay gets harder. Try my butter knife out here. Yeah, it does something. This greenhouse sure makes a nice pottery studio. It's very peaceful out here. All right, we need more squaring up now. It's getting a little floppy. Making some progress, I mean, it's starting to look like a container. Pretty rough old one, but you know, I'll try and refine it. I think I've got to get a height for my lip. And to do that, I need something that's the right height that I can slide around. Like this ruler is too short. I need something about that height that I could trim off the top. So let me look around for something. Looks like the right height, doesn't it? Okay. So I need a knife. All right, I've got my my Japanese knife. So I'm going to try. I don't know. I think I can just use the blunt end of it and just kind of slice in here. Maybe. 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 Something like like that. Kind of gets a consistent height. Turn it around. Do this. This face. Like that. Now we've got to think about a lip. Am I going to have a lip on this pot? I think so. Lips always look kind of nice on a pot. So I'm going to roll it out. I'll roll out a snake and then I'll drape it on the top and attach it. I'll just put this wet cloth on top of the piece. Oops, there's a leaf in there. Yeah, I'll put that over just to keep it, you know, kind of moist while I'm working on this snake. Reminds me of making that, that to prom temple. Out of, you know, all the plaster seam pieces for making the cement molds. It was a fun project. I enjoyed doing that. I'll have to get back to it. Get it finished. Get a tree planted on the temple. That'll be so cool. Now, how am I doing? I can go a little over halfway around. This is still way too thick. 
I don't want that thick a lip on this pot. Well, that's a pretty long snake. Let's try that. So we'll try attaching it. I'll join it in the corner. Yeah, this might work. Might not. And we gotta make sure that is in good contact. Oh, I did have enough to do the whole piece. Wow. That is cool. All right, well, that's kind of my lip. Now I've got to really make sure it's attached properly. Now I'm going to start integrating it in with the inside of the pot here. Kind of getting the two joined together. Okay, so the lip is kind of integrated. I think I've got to do a bit of leveling too. these this overhang my lip I'm trying to get something that looks neat so I'm kind of making it the thickness of the ruler get the ruler out. yeah sort of like that a subtle lip but there well it's slowly looking better and it is starting to harden a little on the top here it's starting to get a little more kind of leather like so I better keep refining it. As the clay is toughening up, I'm trying to get the details refined, getting everything trued up. It's difficult because it's still quite floppy at the moment, but I'm just working away, trying to get all those details nice. I don't know if we'll ever get it too straight and true, but uh, I'll get it the best I can anyway. The pot is getting stiffer. You can see the the sidewalls aren't as floppy anymore. So I'm starting to like really trying to refine the shape, smoothing it out, getting rid of any lumps and bumps and tricky work. But you know, the finishing is the important part. It's what really makes the pot look good. It's got a bit of a chamfer at the bottom. And when it stiffens up enough, I can flip it over and add the feet. That may be, you know, a while. Maybe not even till tomorrow. Yeah, so just working away at it. You know, both inside and out. I don't want the inside to be ugly and bumpy and lumpy. So I'm, I'm trying to smooth it out too. The clay as it toughens up is really nice to work with it. It's kind of firm. There's a like a perfect working consistency. And it's just really nice. So that wall's getting quite nice. It's a lot more trim and slim. Let's do this one now. I'll just move the pot over to the edge here. Like that, maybe just move it in a bit. Start at the bottom, scrape away. Come up the middle. 
The clay is getting to the point where I'm starting to be able to polish it. When you rub it, it gets really smooth and polished. I still got a little shape refining to go, but getting down to kind of the details now, you know, making sure my lip is all consistent. It's getting there. It's very close to, you know, the final shape. Just still doing little finishing details and get everything squared up, all my corners sharp and, you know, little details. But it's coming along. I think it's looking quite nice. I've got to decide what kind of feet I want on it. If I want fancy feet or, I think I do want fancy feet. That'll be fun. Here's a look at the pot now. I added a, a groove using my root rake. I just ran it along underneath the lip just to kind of define it a little more. I think that really, it's very subtle, but it really adds just a little finishing touch to it. It's strong enough now that I'm going to flip it over and start working on the bottom. So I can smooth out the bottom, get my chamfer, you know, all correct. Check all my sides, make sure they're nice and square. So here I go. Now I'm just going to check all my sides, make sure they're good and square. They're looking pretty good. I gotta redo my chamfer. The sun is setting on another day. So here's the look at the pot. It's getting quite tough, the, the um, clay on it now. It's kind of, I can pick it up. It doesn't distort or anything. So that's it. it it's not perfect, but you know, it's, I think it's quite nice. I wouldn't say, I don't know. I could spend more hours finishing it. <laughs> you always can. However, so I've got to, I've got to drill my drainage holes in here or put them in and I've got to attach the feet and that's going to have to wait until tomorrow. So I'm still kind of finishing the inside. I want it to look nice on the inside and the outside. It's getting close. I'm starting to kind of polish it more. You can kind of polish the uh, clay so it almost becomes glossy. Yeah, so that's the pot. I've got to get some fancy feet for it. And I think, you know, that'll be nice. Some lucky tree will go in the pot. I've got a hole saw. It's for uh, cutting holes in wood. I was gonna try that to put the holes in the bottom of the pot. So I've gotta lay them out. I was thinking, originally I thought maybe two holes, but now I'm thinking four. I, I think with this size, four would be just about right. So I've gotta lay them out. So that's about five centimeters from the edge and uh, it's almost five there too. I guess that would be right. Maybe they'd be too close together. I'm trying to think here. Five would bring it here. Yeah, it looks a little too close together. So I've got to bring it in closer. So maybe four and a half. Yeah, that'll look better. Four and a half is right there. And five in from the edge. Right to the boat there. Okay. So here I go, I'm going to put the hole in the bottom. I hope this works. I'll just twist it around. Okay, there we go. There's my plug out. I'll have to get that out with the root rake. My multi-purpose tool. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so there's my plug out. I will have to finish those holes. So let's lay out the next one now. It's going to be about here. So I want to come in four and a half, right? Yeah, four and a half. 
and five. So maybe more like there. I think that's pretty good. I'm just kind of looking visually too. I think that'll work. Okay, here I go. Hole number two. Is in. I'll flip it over and I'll just shave away any material that's come through. Round them off a bit. I was going to put my signature in, but I think I'm going to wait because I'll be working on this pot tomorrow and I don't want to, every time I flip it over, I think it'll damage the signature. So I'm going to wait till I get my feet attached tomorrow and then I'll sign it and put a date on it. And that will be that. Yeah, I could definitely take a little more material off the center here. When you're making a pot from slabs, you kind of know your wall thicknesses. But when you're kind of just molding it out of one piece, it's kind of hard. To determine how thick it is on the bottom until you get these holes in and then you can kind of see. So overnight I'll leave a, a wet cloth on top, not wet but damp, and you know the temperature is really cooling down on the greenhouse here now. It's uh, 12 degrees Celsius or uh, 54 degrees Fahrenheit. So. You know, it's pretty cool. The pot should stay quite moist and humid for working on tomorrow. And then we'll start the drying process. We slowly dry it over many, many days or weeks until it's ready for firing. And I don't think I'll put a glaze on this, but I don't know, maybe I will. I uh, might look nice. The pot will be a tan color, so I don't know what glaze would look best. Maybe a white glaze. Usually the tan pots have a white glaze on them. Well, that's definitely thinning out the middle here. And it's getting hard to see. <laughs> the sun has set and I've got to finish my work. I think I'm done for today. Yes, I am done for today. I've got to stop touching it. Okay, I think it's looking quite good. Nice little pot. I will cover it up now with my damp cloth and that'll be it for tonight. That was way too much fun today making this pot out of clay. I really enjoyed the day and I had a beautiful sunny day. <sighs> it was so nice. I'm kind of sad to see the day end and the light go down but That'll be it for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.